What's your thoughts? What a time saver. Huge time saver, right? Okay, so real quick before the wind kicks up any further, I'm gonna kind of show you the auto distance. The auto distance is with the wheel. We like to show it with the wheel because it's number one in the kit. The reason why it was added to the kit is when you use this with no wheel, you're messing up your elevation measurements, which is very true. Um, so we're like, well, we don't wanna walk down that path. Let's put the wheel in there. It's something that's been in the, in the catalog for a while. So let's just put it to use. So the way I'm gonna use this is I am going to go to uh, auto stationary, oops, wrong one, auto distance. And when I go to auto distance, I'm going to give it a code called edge. I'll just call this edge of pavement. Add that in. All right, and I'm gonna have a line connection here. All right, so once I'm done with that, I have edge encoding and all I have to do now is I have to hit play. When I hit play, it's gonna ask me, what distance do you wanna collect every point? You could do it every foot, you could do it every 10 foot, you could do it every 20 feet, whatever you choose. I'm gonna go ahead and do it at every 10 feet, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, can you guys see the camera okay? Yeah, yep. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just start walking along the edge, holding it up straight up. I better hit play first, eh? There we go. And I'm just gonna start walking. What are you doing to maintain level? I'm just holding the rod up straight okay. up and down. The wheel okay. comes with a, uh, a handle on it that actually helps you with that. Got it. Now keep in mind when you're gonna use this, you're gonna use it in this fashion for edge of the roadway, maybe white lines, maybe center lines. Maybe you're gonna run topography uh, and you wanna collect a series of lines for topography on your scene. Yeah. Um, this is where I'm gonna use this feature. I love it, right? What's that? We like it. What a great tool that is. Okay, so when I'm finished, I'm gonna hit stop. And now what I've got here is I've, I've come in front of the dome here and in front of the building, and I wanna continue it on. So what I'm gonna do in order to do that is I'm gonna up my line to, from one to two because I wanna start a new line to do this. So once I've upped it, I hit play and start collecting this side. Okay, there we go. Any questions? Nope. What's your thoughts? What a time saver. Huge time saver, right? Um, and again, this is not this is not something that you want to do when you're marking scratches, gouges, skid marks, maybe long skid marks, if you can hold precision good and long enough. Yeah. Uh, this is, if I want to run up that hill and back down to get topography lines so I can set my surface in reveal three-dimensionally and i use construction lines to do it or topo lines to do it this will this will do it in you know very quickly okay right.